Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Uh, Wellington Tower Camp showing a little bit of building cloud cover across the region, and we're starting to see a few showers build in places. Kind of a nice scene out there, seeing a uh, atmosphere that's uh, primed to produce more rain showers. Didn't get quite as early a start as we did yesterday. I think cloud cover might have held down the temperature just a little bit. Taking a look at uh, our uh, viewer photo, this was sent in by Bill Campbell, and my goodness, is it pretty. Uh, sunset in Charlotte Harbor around um, Zephyr, uh, around the uh, Zephyr Causeway there, showing um, a pretty nice sunset, despite the fact that we had a little bit of cloud cover. Sometimes the cloud cover actually enhances our uh, sunsets because it reflects more of the color. Across our region currently, it's not a cool day, but it's certainly not as warm as it might normally be if we had a little bit more sunshine. 85 degrees, the current air temperature with a dew point of 74. West wind has started. It's at about 6 right now. That west wind again will start to influence our weather by pushing some showers on shore and then watching those showers moving further and further inland until it encounters the east coast sea breeze in the spine of the state where they will kind of explode into some larger storms. 86 in Wachula, 85 in Arcadia, Mayaka at 86, 87 in Parrish, 88 in Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch. Northport's at 85, we've got 86 in Venice, 80 for you folks in Inglewood, 85 Longbow Key, 77 in Punta Gorda. We have a little bit more rainfall activity down in the southern part of our viewing area around the mouth of Charlotte Harbor. Not as much action along this trough of low pressure located just to the north. There's some drier air behind it, and it's sinking a little bit further south today, kind of suppressing the number of showers that we get. Plus, that little trough of low pressure that was there is in the process of fading away, being bridged over by two ridges of high pressure that uh, are going to kind of combine into one. We're looking at the heaviest of the rainfall now located to our south, but we're starting to pick up a few scattered showers in Manatee County and down through Sarasota, along coastal communities. Nothing really heavy. Heavier rain falling around uh, Arcadia and just to the west of Arcadia. All of this actually has had a few pops of lightning associated with it, so thunderstorm in progress there. And then down to the south in Lee County around Fort Myers, the heavier rain is falling. I think everybody stands a pretty good chance of seeing these high pressure ridges produce uh, light enough wind that the west sea breeze that is now in the process of developing triggers off some heavier storms, especially in the center part of the state, and those storms moving toward the other coast. Tomorrow we'll do it all over again with more showers out in Gulf waters eventually coming on shore. So early coastal showers, uh, afternoon storms, mostly in inland areas and continu continuing to drift further and further away from our coastline as they head toward the other coast. And that pattern will probably stay through just about the weekend. And after that, I think we'll start to see some changes occur. The changes will come in the form of some drier air located to the north and some drier air located out in the Atlantic. They'll kind of kind of coalesce and maybe pinch off some of that moisture supply and reduce our rain chances just a little bit as high pressure continues to build in and help suppress the showers as well. A few scattered storms in inland areas riding on that sea breeze continue to press eastward and become stronger. And then tomorrow, the same sort of situation. Coastal showers first and then inland showers later in the day. That pattern looks unchanging. Forecast calls for daytime highs near 90 for at least three or four more days. And then that drier air starts to perhaps erode away the rain chances a bit as we head into next week and high pressure builds in. Scott? 